So I have a pyramid and I have a cube. And this is not a random pyramid and a random cube. This is a square-based pyramid. And the size of that square is identical to the face of the cube. And the question I want us to look at today is how does the volume of the pyramid relate to the volume of the cube? And I will also need to give you the information that the height of this pyramid is equal to the height of the cube. So this is the, uh, a cube that would fit inside this, um, sorry, a pyramid that would fit inside this cube with height equal to it. Can I get you a good angle on there on the camera? Maybe, possibly, kind of. <laughs> anyway, so the question is, uh, maybe if I filled this up with water, if I filled my pyramid up with water, and dumped that water into the cube, how many times, ooh, drop th dropping things, how many times would I have to fill up the pyramid and dump it into the cube to fill up the cube perfectly? Would it be a nice even number of times? Would it be two times, three times, four times, some fractional number of times? Make a prediction right now. You'll be more invested in this if you make a prediction. You'll be more invested in it if you also make a bet with somebody, but I can't encourage gambling here. Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look, and you can always pause the video and discuss. And, um, you know, I'm risking a little bit here in the sense that I'm going to fill this thing up with water, and I have expensive computer and camera equipment on the desk right in front of me here. So let's hope I don't spill anything. Okay, I've got that as close to the top as I'm possibly willing to get uh, while putting all my camera equipment at risk and computers. Ah, and I am pouring that into the cube. Now, taking a, uh, you know... Eyeball, look at that. Do you want to revise your prediction before we pour again? You know, you can pause the video and do that if you'd like. All right, we are pouring again. So far, I have not spilled and, and damaged everything. All right, we're pouring again. Okay. Two went ahead and uh, did not fill the whole thing up yet. So if you'd guessed two, wrong. Okay, but what's it going to be? And is it going to be dangerous for me to just fill this thing all the way up and pour it right in there? Is there going to be enough space? Is it going to overflow? Am I going to destroy my laptop right now? I didn't destroy anything, but man, is that ever close to the top of that cube. In fact, if I had perfectly done everything um, which is kind of, you know, impossible to do perfectly. This would be a perfect fit. So the answer to the question was three. It would take three of the pyramids to fill up the cube perfectly, which should give you an idea for what the volume formula for a pyramid might be. Now, extension you could think about today is what if we had done this same experiment, but instead of having a pyramid, what if we made the base shape a circle and we used a cone and we fit it into, well, something with a circle base and the same height, so a cylinder? And that could even be a topic that we explore in a future video. I hope you guys have an excellent day. Where's my stop recording button?